631 right now. The world's toughest bike race spans 3,000 miles from California, ends right here in our area. It's pretty cool. Three local men are gearing up for the race across America. ABC 2's Cassie Carlisle tells us how they're pushing their personal limits while raising money for charity. Well, well, they said it, but they're also young at heart and determined. I think one time we just sort of dared each other that, hey, that would be great to do. That would be a 3,000-mile charity bike race. Right. Michael's a chiropractor, <laughs> Glenn's a lawyer, and Jeff is a scientist here in Maryland. It's not their first physical challenge. They've done marathons, triathlons, 50-mile bike races, and soon, the race across America. So we train between five and seven days a week. A mix of long endurance ride and then during the week some hard intervals to get your speed up. They've already logged thousands of miles on their bikes this year while balancing work and family life. I would say nothing is really easy for me. I train very hard. I don't necessarily think of myself as um, somebody who has a lot of uh, athletic talent. They're just days away from a week of pedaling, eight hours on, eight hours off through desert, high winds and steep inclines. We just want to take on uh, an, an, an adventure that we may not be able to see see that. But they say it's worth it. It feels like you're on top of the world, actually, when you're on a nice road and you're, you're pedaling and you're not really too tired, but you're going fairly fast. It's a really good rush of adrenaline and I guess pride that you're in good enough shape and you're middle, middle to late years to, to be able to, to do that. They say riding keeps them young, and ready for another challenge. Jeff is already looking for our next adventure. Um, How does your wife feel about that? Uh, she doesn't really know about that. Just getting started. Jeff, Glenn, and Michael start pedaling later this month in Southern California and will continue all the way across America, ending up right here in Annapolis. Cassie Carlisle, ABC2 News. All right, well, the charities are fundraising for Strop Kids for Kids, which helps with epilepsy education and studies. And also water for people. They build wells and sanitation infrastructure for communities in third world countries. They look like they're ready to go, these guys. And that's a lot to manage. I mean, having a family, a full-time job, and then and you know, taking the time to Incredible. train. Incredible. Yeah, we'll see how Good they do. And we're going to keep up guys. on them. If you'd like to help, by the way, or learn more about those charities, you can head to the website, abc2news.com. Best of luck to those three friends heading from California to Annapolis. Pretty good.